this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. This video is specifically going to show on an Android Samsung tablet how you get to set the text-to-speech voices and then once you have voices installed you'll be able to choose a voice within WeaveChat. But first step first, WeaveChat solely depends on system voices on an Android tablet, none come pre-installed, and so you first have to go set text-to-speech voices. See the gear down on the bottom left corner? It may be someplace else on your screen, but that's what you're looking for. Then I'm going to search for text-to-speech. Scroll down, and there it is. Then text-to-speech settings. Okay, right now I have it set to the Samsung text-to-speech engine. If you want to hear the options, click on that gear. These appear here because I've already installed these, so yours may be totally blank. You would click on Install Voice Data and then you'll see voices that I could download. Um, so if in, you need Australian English, United Kingdom English, India English, and then you can see ones that I've already installed, Finnish, French. Anyway, those are Samsung voices. If you want to use one of those, you can. Um, Let's go back over here and let you hear the one that I have picked from Samsung. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So they're not terrible. They're okay. They're not my favorite. To t change the preferred engine, tap on that. And you'll see other ones here because I have these installed. So, speech recognition and synthesis from Google, if I choose that one. Then I'm going to go on that gear again, install voice data, and then you'll see lots and lots of languages. So, scroll on down to English, United States, and I have all these installed, but you can listen to them. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So there's an adult male. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Another variation on adult male. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So you have, again, those are okay. And there's no child or teen options in either Samsung or Google. So I'm going to tap on that preferred engine again. What I like to do is go out to the Google Play Store and you install the Acapella TTS app. The app is free. And then within that, I'll show you here in a second. You can go out and listen to samples of high quality a cappella voices. They're the same voices that you're used to hearing in lots of other AAC um, apps over on Apple on an iPad. And the difference is on an iPad, those voices are licensed and sold as part of the app or maybe have an in-app purchase, but you can only use them in the app that they're in. Here on Android, one of the cool features is it's there's flexibility. So you can purchase, I purchased several a cappella voices here on Android and then I can use them across lots of AAC apps. So you only purchase the voice once and I think they usually run around $7.99. Maybe some of them may be a little bit more more like $11.99, but not very expensive. Not nearly the price of purchasing an in-app purchase for a voice over on iOS. So here we are on acapella. 
go back and then I'm going to click that gear again and that took me over to this screen within the Acapella TTS app. The far bottom left takes me to where the voices are and it'll take a bit to populate. It's not usually this slow but I've noticed tonight that it's taking a while. So you have to be patient. We'll let that populate and then I'll be able to show you voices that I purchased over here. And it's still thinking about it. I don't know if they're working on their servers maybe? I don't know. It usually is just boom and it's there. So I'm not sure why, that, why that's taking so long. It's taking a really long time. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to go back over into here and show you. Whoops. All right, let's get back over in there. Text to speech. Scroll down. Text to speech settings. Okay. And. Okay, there's my pick list. These are all the ones that I have previously purchased. Haldria is a female teen voice. Jorvik. Hi, I'm the American English speech synthesis voice from Acapella. Efficient, fast, and a very high quality. Why not try me out with your own words? That's a teen male. Um... And you can see um, Ella, it, you've probably heard Ella in lots of different um, AAC apps. That's a female child voice. Emilio is a child male voice. And they have, Acapella has lots of adult voices too. So if you, whatever, regardless of the age, child, teen, and adult for USA English, there are lots of options. You purchase each voice separately. I'm going to switch this back. I'll leave it on Jorvik, Jorvik since. Um, all right. Play that Hi, again. I'm the American okay. English Speech Synthesis Voice. All right, so now that I have that set, I'm going to go over into Weave Chat. Back to my settings, voice and language, English, American, and then here's where I can set which one I want to use within this app. <coughs> so all of those are showing up because I've purchased each of those voices. If I hadn't installed Acapella TTS, I wouldn't have any acapella voices that would show up here. Instead, whatever speech engine I had set on the device is what's going to show up here within Weave Chat. So if I'd set the Samsung speech engine, Samsung voices would show up. If I set the Google text to speech speech engine, Google voices would show up. Um, some of those are difficult to figure out because they're not really named per se, that's more like just code, long string of code. So if you find one you like and it's not an acapella voice, I'd probably write down what that one is so you'll be able to find it later. So you can see here, I'm going to set Jorvik. Welcome to Weave Chat. Okay, so that's been set. Back. Board. This is the board I happen to like to use. I want it. I want it. So yeah, whatever voice, whatever voices you have installed, you then set a voice here in Weave Chat, and then that's the voice um, that you'll be able to use. Hope this helps.